With more and more people doing DIY home energy backup systems, it may be a good idea to start using something to fireproof your setup. Using a fire retardant paint such as this one from Inselex is a way to actually fireproof your setup. With more and more people using inverters in their homes, sheds, and more, they're actually mounting it to a surface that is nothing but a flammable material like wood. Technically, these really should be mounted on either a brick, a concrete wall, or even using something like a hardy board. But it doesn't stop there with just mounting your inverter on those types of surfaces. It's really a lot of the equipment and also the wiring that surrounds it that could also be problematic. So by using a fire retardant paint, this can actually help buy you some time. This way you can at least maybe extinguish the problem or at least maybe get out of your house and actually collect some of the valuables that are important because if one of these batteries does catch on fire and starts to run away, well, there's a very good chance that you're not gonna stop it. But if it's something much smaller like an inverter fire or if it happens to be a fire in the wiring that happens to be at a disconnected more, this is something that maybe you might be able to extinguish with a fire extinguisher, a fire blanket. So by using a paint like this, which this is basically an intumescent paint. An intumescent is something that really just kind of swells and it changes its properties from maybe something that is more dense to where it actually expands more. If you've ever roasted a marshmallow, it's kind of like that a little bit. You're taking something that is small and dense and you're actually expanding it and that's what this paint does it kind of expands and it'll basically leave more of a charring on the outside and that's what happens when it is exposed to either a lot of heat or a flame such as as we look at this demonstration here I'll kind of show you what it looks like using just bare wood and then also three different coats so it'll be a single coat a double coat and also a third coat because remember, it's not always a piece of equipment that fails. It's sometimes just a craftsmanship of somebody doing the wiring in general. You get a bad crimp, a bad connection, that could be where the problem point is. So it's not always just about where the inverter is placed, but also the surrounding stuff as well. If you have charge verters, solar disconnects, or even transformers and more, then it's not a bad idea to kind of fireproof the area a little bit. Now I ended up doing my whole wall with this gallon of paint and even a little bit of the ceiling because again, flames just don't sit in one spot. Eventually they're gonna start to rise up and start feeding on whatever material is above it and around it. So this will definitely help stop the spread of it. Now this isn't a sponsored video. I bought this on my own and it is relatively expensive. After buying it locally, it was about $150 just for one gallon, but I actually found it on Amazon for only about 115. So I guess supporting the local business isn't bad, but it is a little bit of a price difference. Now this goes on just like a normal latex paint and they say that you should put at least two coats on there. I ended up doing a third coat just in more of the area of where the inverter is and mainly the wires and did two coats all the way along the wall and basically just a single coat on the ceiling right above this area. Now is this gonna stop everything from your house burning down? No, but what it does is it does buy you some time and that's really the fight against what is happening is that if you happen to be on location and you have a problem, well then you might have some time to actually extinguish it, mitigate the fire to at least a certain degree to where you might be able to extinguish it fully or at least isolate it to a certain area. If you're not on location, well then who knows what's going to happen. It could prevent it, it could not. If you look at this test footage and some of the videos that I found online, it's actually pretty impressive of what this stuff does when it's applied to a whole house on the outside versus the one that's not treated at all. Obviously it burns down just like it normally would on a normal Normal house fire. So when it comes to adding a little bit of a protection for $150, it just seems like it's not a bad idea because again, not everybody's craftsmanship is as good as others. So this is going to be our test board. You can see no paint right there. And then I did a coat, two coats, and then three coats along this board. So we can kind of take a look at what the differences are when there is actually a flame on it. So we did about a minute burn test there and you can see how much damage is done. We're going to do the same thing on the other ones as well. Just do about a minute. Okay, this is two coats and because I messed up on the first one, I didn't get to show you guys the beginning. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording. So just to show you what it looks like with one coat. And what I did is a minute burn test on each one. So. You can see the evidence of what it looked like over there, and I'll show you what all three look like here in a minute, all together.
And that is about a minute right there on a single coat. Here's what it looks like with two coats. And there is two coats after one minute. All right, three coats, one minute. And because I have to re-record everything because I didn't get the first round. And then we'll go ahead and speed this up. So that's a minute and 30 seconds still, just trying to burn this. So after a minute and 32 seconds or so, this hardly looks like anything. And so after this gets cooked, it's supposed to leave like a layer of char. I mean, look at that. I mean, it definitely still burned the wood and did some damage. That's the third coat. And then this is the second coat, or two coats anyway. Wood damage there and there, which that one's maybe slightly more. Here is only the single coat, which this one definitely has more damage to the wood. You can see all that there. And then obviously untreated. It's a pretty weird paint, just even after burning these with a torch, look at that. It's like no damage to the wood just on like the, the regular fire versus this is where we had the torch actually on there. And then even on the other areas too. Over here, the single coat really just kind of burns off that paint is what it's doing. Now, even though this wood seemed like it did pretty good just kind of holding up, um, depending on how long the flame lasts, but even a single coat definitely does a lot of protection to the wood. And as soon as you obviously get to three coats, I mean, look at that. Hardly any damage at all. And I was also cooking this thing a lot too, just kind of off camera. I had the torch on there quite a bit, just cooking that thing. And, and there's hardly any damage. All it did was burn the paint, which they even said that afterwards you could repaint it if you wanted to. So obviously a lot less damage when it comes to the treated wood and it does just kind of give you that extra insurance. So I will leave links down below the products that I used. I hope this video helped you out and I hope to see you in another one.